Shalom, this is Jima Solid Sit Downs coming back with a lesson. I want to give all praises, glory, and the highest honor to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Kakodash, double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the elect out there that's spreading his word in sincerity and in truth all over the four corners of the earth. God, this is going to be a quick prayer lesson, uh, you know, evolving about, uh, around the prayer that I just set up. Um, you know, it's also a good thing for brothers to go into prayers, man. Uh, make prayers in the Hebrew. You know, if you find yourself, uh, you know, studying and meditating upon uh, the Hebrew and basically uh, becoming skillful with it, reading it, knowing the alphabet, knowing words, Assyrian Hebrew, Paleo Hebrew. You know, it's a good thing to make uh, Hebrew prayers, man. You know, uh, I had I had many occasions wherein I prayed in the Hebrew and chariots appeared, man. Chariots appeared. Um, you know, when I walk outside, when I walk my dog in the evening, in the morning, I often pray, um, and the chariots appear, man. So there's a, a very great power in the in the Hebrew tongue. That's why it's also called um, the Lashawan Kodash, which means the holy tongue. You know, it's the tongue is the is the language of the of the angels, is the language of the most high, is the language of the holy people, is the language where it all started with. So it's very powerful to um, to do um, your prayers in the Hebrew. So I have a couple of prayers set up. Yara um, Tazar, the spirit moves me. Um, to uh, to make a series of this, uh, I think I'm gonna call this number one quick prayer. You know, brothers uh, in GMS been doing this. You got the brother from Atlanta. You got the brother from uh, DC uh, that make prayers. You know, so uh, it's, it, it is a certain uh, certain talent that you have to uh, work towards in making uh, prayers in the Hebrew. And uh, giving brothers these things, you know. So y'all write the psalm and make a series off of this, like I said. Um, so this is a a prayer of cleansing. What I do is I grab a psalm and I grab a particular verse that you know I would like to pronounce in the Hebrew. Then I go to the Blue Letter Bible and I uh, I translate it, you know, uh, to the Hebrew, man. So this is uh, Psalms 51 and 1. <clears throat> to the chief, uh, to the chief musician, a psalm of David, when Nathan the prophet came unto him, and he had gone into Bathsheba. So this is a, a, a psalm that uh, King David made when he went off, you know, with Bathsheba. Uh, who later became the mother of King Solomon. So this is a prayer that is all about mercy. It's all about to being cleaned, uh, to being cleansed from your iniquity, cleansed from your sin. You know, I have received the mercy of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Tazai, you know, you, you have to have the faith that the Most High will have mercy upon you because that's, that's the power that we're dealing with. We're dealing with the merciful power. We always have to remember that. So uh, I didn't translate the beginning part that I just read, but uh, this is what I translated. So it says, "Have mercy upon me, O Yahweh, according to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions." So in the Hebrew it says, "Allah, but Shabai." Hananiah, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Kacha, Kachasat, Kachasatka, Karab, Racham, Racha, Rachamkia, Slakia, Rachamyak, Bacha, Bashaya. So again, Slakia for that. It's the first time I, I pronounced the. This uh, this Hebrew uh, verse, so it says Allah, but Shabai, 
Hananya, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Gacha, Satka, Karab, Rachamka, Rachamka, Aslakya, Rachamyak, Macha, Bashaya. So again, the English it says, "Have mercy upon me, O Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai." According to thy love and kindness, according to the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. One more time, Allah Bat Shabai Hananya Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Kachasatka Karab Racha Racham Yak Racham Yak Macha Pashaya. So it says blood out my iniquity. Now this is this is the power that we're dealing with. We're dealing with a power that is about mercy, that doesn't uh, uh, repent, that doesn't uh, take back his promises that he made with a uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You know, and that's that's the mercy that we received. You know, and that he has bestowed upon upon our forefathers um, as a promise, man. So we gotta be grateful and and and. And happy because of that because day in and day out we go off so we need to ask for mercy we need to put up these prayers and what's more better than to put prayers up in the Hebrew tongue you know of course because of the uh, the dialects that we have and uh, and the the tongue that we originally speak in whether it's uh, whether it's Dutch whether it's English whether it's Spanish whether it's um, French, German, doesn't matter. Try to pronounce it to the best of your ability. You know, and, and uh, understand what you pray for. You know, so oftentimes it's good to pray in the English, and then, or in your own tongue, and then you uh, you change up to the Hebrew, so you have an understanding of what you are praying. So this is Lamentations chapter three, verse twenty-two. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed. Because his compassions fail not. You see, so through the mercy of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, we uh, we are not consumed, man. And uh, meditating upon that alone, you know, in 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 combination with what Yahweh Shai did for us, that uh, that should keep you strong in the faith, man. If you you have to realize and see. What the power of Yahweh Shai, uh, 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 it's like what the power is that Yahweh Shai did for us. You know what power lies within that. What I'm really trying to say. You know, um, he sacrificed himself for the sins of his people. And if you think that, you know, the mercy is just gonna fail, while the heavenly Father Yahweh is a merciful power. And while he sent his son to, uh, so that we can receive mercy, if you just take that lightly, that mercy that we get from Yahweh Shem Shai, then there's something wrong with your faith and your understanding in Yahweh Shem Shai. You know, then we have our forefathers, whom were close with the Heavenly Father Yahweh, through, through which we also receive mercy. So this is Psalms chapter 100, uh, chapter 105, verse 6. O ye seed of Abraham, his servant, ye children of Jacob, his chosen. He is the Lord our power. His judgments are in all the earth. He remembered his covenant forever. The word which he commanded to a thousand generations. So we are those generations, man, unto whom he remembers it. Which covenant he made with Abraham and his oath unto Isaac. And confirm the same unto Jacob for a law and to Israel for an everlasting covenant saying unto thee will I give the land of Canaan the lot of your inheritance so through Abraham Isaac and Jacob we receive that mercy and uh, uh, eventually Yahweh Shai which is Isaac so uh, basically I already named him but he is Isaac and uh, we receive that mercy because he, he sacrificed himself for, for the sins of his people, which is a beautiful deed and a great deed ordered by the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. 
which is which is the mercy that we receive man so to to get a more understanding a better understanding of this, of the of the prayer that I just gave um, Psalms 105 verse 1 to the chief musician of Psalm of David when that done the prophet came unto him after he had gone into Bathsheba Bathsheba have mercy upon me O Yahweh according to thy loving kindness according to the multitude of thy tender mercies blot out my transgressions so if we if we go into the word tender let's go into the word tender the word tender uh, racham that's that difficult work word in the prayer racham yak Racham Yak, I believe it is Racham, Racham Yak, yeah, Racham Yak. Uh, compassion, compassion by extension, compassion, Cherish, cherishing. You see, tender love, great tender mercy, pity. You see that? That's the nourishing because it also goes into into the womb what what happens in the womb what happens in the womb uh, a baby is being nourished man a baby is being a baby is being nourished I don't know why why that just happened but okay a baby is being nourished in the womb you know so that's the same thing that the most I is doing with his people and with his children he's nourishing them you know and, and taking care of them which goes into mercy um, let's look up the word blot or blot out uh, the word there is um, macha which is uh, the word that comes after uh, rachamya rachamyak let me see. It says to wipe out, blood out, to wipe out, to be blooded out. So basically, wipe clean, wipe away. So what does the prayer say? According unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, blood out my transgressions. So because he, he nurses us, he, 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 he takes care of us. You know, and, and, and with the mercy, wipe away the sins that I have committed. So, that's a good prayer, you know, to end your day with, start your day with. You know, of course, when you went off, you know, ask for that mercy, man. Like, we are not going to be able to uh, perfectly keep the loss, but don't just realize that you 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 break a certain commandment and break a certain law and, and be like yeah okay whatever we can't be perfect anyway don't be like that man with everything that you do with all the things that you that you uh, 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 with all the sins that you make ask for that mercy man ask for that mercy for example you're hungry you have to go to work but it's the sabbath you need to buy some food on the sabbath you be like yeah but i'm hungry and uh, yeah, yeah I, I gotta eat you know i gotta eat yes you gotta eat and if you gotta eat and you're very hungry you buy something on the sabbath you know it's better to not do it but hey if you're hungry you, you you get yourself some food man but put up them prayers and ask for mercy from your bashim yashai for for not being able uh, uh to uh, refrain from buying and selling man on the shabbat very important that you ask for that mercy man so to close it off with again the prayer Allah Bat Shabai Hananya Yahweh Bashem Yahushai Kachasatka Karab Racham Racham Yak Macha Bashaya so with that I'm gonna give all praises glory and the highest honor to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai Bashem Kakadash Shalom to the elect out there is pushing his word as a city and the truth Shalom